This is $265 worth of Kmart Australia gaming products. Ah! No! Okay, this gaming keyboard retails for $39. I honestly just want to know, like, is this good? All right, regular USB keyboard. Doesn't seem entirely terrible. You even got your wrist rest, wrist rest. Try saying that fast. And instruction manual here. Wait, this wrist rest is plastic. Ugh. Is that like a crime? It looks like it's gonna have a nice rainbow RGB though. Firstly, it has a decent weight to it. You can't like bend it really, so that's good. And it's got two feet you can pop up. How to use, turn on your computer, insert the USB interface of keyboard into a USB port. Wait for one minute and your keyboard will automatically read with no driver needed. Sounds good to me. Ooh, that was immediate. Ooh, I'm gonna turn the lights down. They're not bad at all. Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay, actually, uh, on further inspection, the lettering is kind of ugly and it goes from red to yellow to green. I don't love that, but it still looks good. Typing. <laughs> that was decent. <laughs> See, that was legit. I actually typed things. Let me put my microphone near it. <laughs> so it does have a couple of different lighting modes. Press FN and... Ah, yeah. Decent breathing feature. Ooh, we've got effects going on. I didn't expect that. It's flashing in the middle. Now it's it's moving. What? Yeah, I'm into that. I love stupid effects on keyboards. It's just fun. I would say $39 isn't too bad for this, but I suppose it depends on your budget because you can get a pretty good keyboard for about a hundred bucks. Anyway, I'm gonna pull off a keycap. Ooh. Okay. I'm not an expert on keys and keycaps, but that's what I can offer you. <laughs> I suppose the best thing to do now would be to unbox the other keyboard to compare it. All right, this one was $25. I gotta say, like, the packaging is not desirable whatsoever, is it? But it's not about that. I am here for the product, and there's a lot of cheap gaming gear out there now, so if Kmart can provide just as well as, you know, Amazon and, and wherever you're getting your tech. I'm fine with that. I don't know why I expected all of it to be terrible, but oh, this one looks cheap as heck, so I don't know about it. I'll just set this up. So this is the keyboard right off the bat. It's fairly flexible. It definitely feels a lot cheaper than the $39 keyboard. This is interesting because it, it feels sort of premium. It's got a weight to it, but it's also lightweight and well-balanced. This one just feels like a big slab of plastic, which is not necessarily a bad thing. This feels like the most generic keyboard I have ever laid eyes on. Definitely would not price it more than 25 bucks. All right, it's connecting. Well, it's, it's already lit up. It seems a lot brighter on camera than the other one. I like the look of this. I think I like it better than the expensive one, the look of the RGB. But let's see what it has going for it. Three kinds of rainbow RGB backlight color, inbuilt palm rest, Apparently you can make the keys breathe. Okay. That's its breathing function. And oh, it has some different colors in there now. That's cool. I like that it has these shortcuts. I don't know if they work. All right, I'm gonna test this. It works. You can pause. I can bring up my music app on my PC, Groove Music. <laughs> Groove Music by pressing the little the little note function. Oh my gosh, if you press the mail button, your Outlook comes up. Or you can get Google, Yahoo, iCloud or whatever. Oh, and home goes to my web page homepage, which is Google right now. Okay, it's got some functions. We like some functions. All right, let's do some typing. Hmm. I like the feel of that. Like, it's interesting, this keyboard seems cheaper and the build quality seems kind of terrible. I feel like the sound of it that it's making is sort of popular at the moment, this keycap style. I don't know how long this would last, but arguably this would do the job. I don't know if it would be good for hardcore gamers. I definitely think if you're like young, maybe 10 to 12 years old, this would be a really good first keyboard with RGB. But I also think this one is a great first keyboard too. I think they're both decent. I definitely sense the text and the lettering wearing away after a lot of use though. On the more expensive one, 
there's not printed on text, it's actually like LED text, so yeah, we'll see. And it does have a 1.5 meter USB cable though, I like that. And I think this one's the same, yeah. If you have the money though, I would definitely choose the $39 gaming keyboard. This is a $25 mouse pad. All right, I'm not sure why I opened the keyboards first, but I think we'll go mouse pad and mouse, mice. I have one mouse. So this is a 78 centimeter mouse pad or mat. Here's the instruction manual. So we've got a USB to mini USB, like an old school Android charging cable. Plug it around the back of my laptop again. Nice, yeah, I mean, it's simple. It feels like a wetsuit material. So it immediately lit up in red and then there's a button. There's a button here. Got green, blue, pinky purple, blue, green, yellow. <laughs> oh my gosh, do I know colors? That's purple. Is that, oh, okay, now we're going rainbow, like breathing. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like a rainbow all the way around somewhat. A little, is it? Now I have to test the mouse with it. Okay, so you can turn it off entirely if you don't want the lights for some reason. Gaming mouse, $15. It's so, uh, it literally says gaming mouse on it. Oh, dude, gaming mouse, please. Why you gotta do me like that, man? <laughs> No. Jeez, okay, but we do have a forward and back button and like a nice grip. Oh, I kind of like how it feels in my hand. <laughs> this is what she said. Uh, I use a Logitech MX Master, so that's big praise. Time to plug it in. Oh yeah, it's nicely lit up. I'm into that. Got some lights on the side, on the scroll wheel, on this logo thing. All right, we've got the DPI button. So, wow, oh, it's speedy. Can confirm the $15 mouse pad works well with Kmart's $15 mouse. This is really surprising me. Like, are my standards really low or is it actually just, like, it's okay? It does say protect the appliance from extreme heat and cold, dust, direct sunlight, humidity and drops or jets of water, which makes me think it won't be super sweat resistant. We've got forward and back keys on the side. They work great. Okay, let's find what this button does. On the instructions, it says it's a fire key. So I guess it's your quick click because it basically works the same as your regular left click. So for $15, would you buy it? All right, let's unbox the Gaming Pro earphones. These are $10 worth. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, these are skinny and flimsy. You can just tell that these will break with the slightest accident. Everything about these looks cheap and feels cheap, yikes. It does come with spare ear tips. It even comes with this adapter. It's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Surprisingly, it also comes with this microphone. This looks so flimsy and pathetic, but I wonder how it sounds. I'll plug it in. Okay, look, if I was 12, I would love these. Uh, so if you like it, I get it. But I just don't know about it. I'm gonna judge them based off their sound quality. What's left and right? I don't think they tell you what left and right is. This seems right. <laughs> I can't hear out of the left one, I don't think. What? Oh, they weren't plugged in quite right. Is this full volume? I can't hear anything. My computer lets me pump the audio a bit more. Like, you can't tell the quality by me doing this, but you know. Oh, it's not good loud. Okay, hold up. Huh. Okay. Wow, that's really surprising. If you can get them in right, the sound's actually pretty decent. And I don't like that I'm saying that, it feels wrong. I will say the whole time I was struggling to keep them in place and it was like the angle in which they sit in my ear canal made them block themselves. So like they were pressing into say like not down towards the eardrum, but like against the side of my ear, like into a dead end. And again, this cable is so flimsy, like one little pinch and it's done, but I wouldn't want to present these to someone because the packaging is so horrendous. But if you want to spend 10 bucks on them, I mean, maybe. <laughs> okay, I need to figure out how to use this microphone situation. It really just doesn't, hello? Testing. I don't know if it's working. You know what? Maybe I take that back. I don't know if it's reliable. I think these are bad. Ask me questions in the comments if you want to know more. I don't know how I feel about this. 10 bucks? Nah, I think take a pass. What we should compare it with is this gaming microphone, which I actually did do a TikTok on, and it, it sounds decent. I was really surprised. So this is like around 15 or $20. Like, it feels cheap. It seems kind of flimsy. Nice long cable, though. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but let's see if my computer will let me use it. Whoa. Really doesn't want 
me to use this. I'm not sure if I'm able to fix that. Actually, you know what would be interesting? I'm wearing a wireless lavalier microphone right now. <laughs> No way. Hey, what's up guys? So I guess I'm giving you the sound quality. Oh my God, no. What the heck? I go around doing interviews with people like, what's up? I recommend it for the price, just for fun. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. And also I hear there's another Kmart gaming microphone. I couldn't find it, but apparently it's Liddy. So go Kmart for the microphones. I am getting really exhausted. <laughs> But it's time to uh, unbox the gaming desktop PC soundbar with RGB. This one cost me $29. That's a pretty decent price for a speaker with RGB. Here we go. Instructions. Here we go. Oh, okay. It has a USB and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This is great. Surely it'll work with my computer. Yo, what is that? Touch the top of speaker to enable or disable backlight. What a random touch function, but that sounds sick. All right, I really hope this works. Turns on with that classic old school thing. Anyway, okay, so the light is breathing currently and basically going through a rainbow. It looks pretty cool. Let's try the touch control. That's sick. Now let's listen to it. Do a better situation, so catch up. No, that's coming out of my computer. Wait. Okay, I need to listen to it this way. Probably not the best music choice, just a pop song. I swear if I get copyright on this. All right, it's loudest volume isn't crazy. Just enough. And also to the parents out there, that's the amount of volume you want for your kids. So awesome. Having it down flat on the table though, the sound isn't great. I had to angle it up towards my face and then I was really getting the vibes. I'm really surprised with this one. I'm, I like it, I'm happy with it. Oh, by the way, there's more though. So <laughs> let's unbox these two little speakers. So like the sound bar, it has a USB and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. What the? Okay, the positioning on this is terrible. If my computer's here, this one's like really tight. <laughs> this one's free roaming. It's a very awkward short cable. I don't know how to position these in a way that I would like it. All right. Oh, straight up. Okay, first thing I'll say is uh, having reviewed a lot of audio products, they're very low quality. Sometimes I'm really blase about audio and other times, you know, I go in for the experience and I want something that sounds excellent. Cause yeah, you know, if you can afford it, it's sick. These totally will do the job, but they're nothing special. Like they'll amplify your audio, sure, but they're pretty low quality and the cable situation is super weird. The manual has had something crossed out on it. What did it used to say? Lay, I can't read it, that is wild, they've just crossed out number seven on the instructions. Let's see how loud they can get. Yeah. The resonance on this speaker, cause like it's just cheap plastic. It's so hollow. It's terrible. I think these are a bit of a bust. Yeah, I don't know if I would get them or recommend them. A bit meh. We are getting down to the wire now with two gaming headsets to go and then just the LED strips. But I don't even know if I'll unbox these today, but I do want to do a desk setup with all this Kmart gear. Right, so this is really interesting guys because this headset is 40 bucks and this one is $9. I'm gonna crack open the expensive ones first because I feel like that'll make the uh, comparison a little bit more spicy. Whoa, they feel okay. They look like aviator earphones. That's not a bad thing, but wow, they're big. Uh, this is flexi, look at that. Oh, weird. There's a control panel on the cord. Oh, that cannot be good. I, I mean, I like that they included that, but okay. Nice long cable, I'll give them some credit for that. We need that. It looks like this might light up, which could be fun. There's the logo, I don't know what's going on there. Plugging these in. There you go, it's connected. Oh, that glows too and it changes the logo. I like that detail, we love a bit of RGB. I'm easy to please. We're all a bit easy to please with the colors and the lights, aren't we? Kind of afraid to put these on, I feel like I'm gonna look crazy. Okay, I don't think I like the light. 
it's like in my peripherals as a distraction. Whoa, okay, that sounded like it came through the headphones. Oh my gosh, no way. It comes with a freaking mini CD. I haven't seen this for years. It's like a GameCube disc, it's adorable. Uh, let's hope we don't really need it. Apparently it's compatible with PC or Mac. 7.1 surround sound apparently, and you note that by this glowing thing. Okay, I'm listening to some music right now. It's not terrible. I am hearing it move in stereo, back and forth, different beats. Oh, the treble is very tinny. If you're not like an audiophile or if you're not fussy, you probably wouldn't notice. The bass tones sound nice. There's like layers there. All right, let's see if any of these buttons do stuff. Okay, we've got volume control on this. It is working, testing. Okay, I think my microphone just switched on. You can mute it. Okay, so the light goes off. Definitely don't know if I love that design being on the little remote thing here. It's not easy to reach when you're gaming. Gaming. Quick mute. Oh, also an up and down volume. That's so weird. I keep forgetting these are the $40 cans. So what's a $9 one gonna be like? Wait, that's a vibration switch on or off? Where's the vibration? Oh, it does vibrate. That's so weird. Okay, quick mute there. <laughs> so you know when you're listening to music and whether you're using speakers or a headphone, sometimes you get that with the bass and you can sometimes see it visually from a speaker. You can toggle that off or on so you can feel a bit of that vibration or like that or you can turn it off entirely. That's, it's bizarre, but I kind of like that. This is just a nice little function. Now, I don't know if the microphone will work. My computer's been really weird about this. All right, we're recording. Okay, testing, testing, what's up? All right, let's see what that sounds like. All right, we're recording. Okay, testing, testing, what's up? I am currently talking into my microphone. Ugh. Hello, testing, testing. I'm gonna be loud now. What? What's going on? Yeah, test. Okay. Okay, the peas be popping and man, the airflow. It's like the pfft, pfft. <laughs> It would be incredibly annoying when gaming to listen to someone like that with the breathing and the peaking and all that. But I gotta say, it's totally usable audio. If you're like yelling the whole time or raging though, Ah, it's not good. All right, let's compare to the $9 gaming headset. $9, hey? Ugh. Okay. Instructions and another mini, a mini disc. The instructions look almost identical to the $40 headset that I also unboxed already. Oh man, this is so interesting. They look almost identical. How in the heck is this Kmart's $9 headset and this is the $40 one? They are so similar looking and feeling. I don't understand, I need to hear the sound quality. Everything looks like basically the same here. So again, you got the $40 and you got the $9. Ooh. The pads, the padding feels, I think the same. Maybe this is a tiny bit softer, I can't tell. Oh, okay. They immediately feel uncomfortable. That is wild. Like, oh, I just keep eating the microphone. Yeah, wow. The weight distribution on your head is much better. Like, obviously the really flexy headband makes it comfortable. These are just, oh, they're so cheap, you can tell. Wow, they look okay, but they're, oh, they're so bad. You know when headphones like dig into the side of your cheeks, like right on the bloody jawbone right there? And then like kind of, grab your head, ah, ah, it's not great. This one has the off and on button though for the vibration. I wonder if it's got it. <laughs> what? Okay, it's exactly the same in terms of controls and it does have a vibration feature, the $9 ones. So they're basically exactly the same except these are like a hundred times more comfortable, the $40 ones. These $9 ones are just trash. Hey, what's up? Ellie Awesome here, testing. Oof. What? Yo, let's get into a game. Let's do this. So excited. <laughs> I guess I could move this away from your mouth to maybe make it pop less because before my breath was like, yo, what's up? I'm just going to move this out of my way. Let's summarize what's worth picking up, what isn't. Gaming 4D headset, $9. Heck no. No way. Stay clear. Gaming earphones, $10. No. Don't even. Mm. No, the small gaming speakers for $15.
Nah. The $15 gaming mouse. This is an interesting one. I have to try it gaming to really be sure, but for $15, I would say yes, as a regular mouse. It's really comfortable, works well. Big caveat is the words gaming mouse. Uh, that's horrific. I hate that. It's so ugly. Same with the uh, other bits of text. Uh, the gaming keyboard that was $25. This bad boy, not the best quality. Um, but it can totally get the job done. I think it's kind of ugly. So I would say this is up to personal opinion. Make sure you watch the review part of this video. The mouse pad, which is right here. This thing, $25. Uh, I think it's only worth about 15 max. It's pretty boring, but it's nice. It's big, does a job, RGB's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'd get it. Sidebar, I did get it. I've got it, so I think I'll use it. <laughs> the RGB soundbar, $29. The touch control functionality is fun. The sound is decent. The look is okay. The RGB is fun. Yeah, I'd buy it. But if I had a hundred bucks or more, I would absolutely not buy it. There's, I would get something better. Oh, the $39 keyboard. This baby. I think it looks nice. I like the shape of it. I like the layout, very loud mechanical keyboard. Pretty sure you could replace the keycaps if you wanted to, which is cool. I liked it. It's probably not the best gaming keyboard, but it's a decent keyboard. Yeah, I'd recommend it. And lastly, we're circling back to this wild time, the $40 gaming headset. Did I say yes, I recommend it? Did I say no? I don't remember, but it's all right. I think it should be $20 or $30 though, considering you can get a very similar pair for $9. Paying a lot for this comfortable, sort of headset band. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna see with all this Kmart gear. Any more details, a full on desk setup, any particular comments there. Can't wait to hear what you have to say about all these products. Would you buy any of them? Do you already own some of them? I'd love to know your opinion. And I just wanna leave things by saying thanks for watching. It was great hanging out with you. Subscribe if you want more, thumbs up if you liked it, and hopefully I'll see you in one of my next videos. <laughs> Bye.